All right, I'm going to start recording immediately, pretty much like 10 seconds after I start, because honestly, I feel not good, and I kind of want to get this done, but I know if I don't do this tonight, I'm not going to be able to do this for like another five days, so let's get this going. We have live stage 37 tonight, everything there. I can feel myself burning up. Oh, it sucks. I think I have some sort of flu or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, let's save this empty selection. We're not broadcasting it anywhere. Shinjuku face, we're good. All right. All right, let's see here. This is Sayuri Namba. Miyako Matsumoto. Chie Koishikawa. Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Minor successes all around. How long are we doing this? Four minutes. All right. Boom. Match. 2v2. Exclude the booked. We're going with Chie. Miyako Matsumoto. Taking on Yuri. Yoshiko Hasegawa. <clears throat> 12 minutes total. And then this go Miyako Matsumoto the victor. Yoshiko Hasegawa to lose. Uh, oh, it was the other way around. Okay, so I was giving him a. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll give Yuri the win over uh, Chie. <laughs> Open match and a decisive win. Is not going to go over well. <clears throat> there, two minutes. Miyako Matsumoto, Chie Koishikawa, uh, entertainment and uh, uh, her selling neutral. All right. Boom, boom, at angle. Okay, strong kickers are out, so. Yuki Kamifuku, Mirai, and uh, Bubba. Why can't I ever remember Marika's name? Okay. They're gonna do terrible, I think. <clears throat> but, push them up a bit. Match, 1v1. Mirai, uh, Maria Takeda, here we go, 17 total, we've got Mirai taking the win, open match, decisive, boom, all right, five segments done already, that's good, that's good, we keep this rolling, it'll be, we'll be uh, doing pretty good on time, I think. Two minutes. What do we got? Uh, Miu, Mirai, Maria, Ohaku. So they're acting, they're acting, selling, selling. This kind of pushes them up a bit. <clears throat> There we go. All right. Two minutes of a Momoka. Ah, come on, where you at? Momoka Hanazono promo. <clears throat> should I put a should I put a script on her? Nah. She might do just good enough. <clears throat> All right, segment eight. We've got Momoka taking on Himika Rita. Boom, boom. 15. Himika. Open match. Decisive win. Booked. <clears throat> All right. 
Himika promo. Sayakami Tani out to challenge her. Setting up for a match later. Well, at, at the next event. Right. Angle. Keep it in three minutes. <clears throat> now Ishikawa. Yuki Arai. Yuki Arai. Rina Yamashita. Risa Sarah. All right. So maybe they'll get a bit of a boost for uh, working along with them. I think they can. All right. Matchup. 2v2. Death Riot. AI Princess. We're looking at 15 minutes total. We're looking at uh, Yuki Arai getting Rina Yamashita with a, it'll be a roll up. <clears throat> and if, based on what I had to do here, uh, it looks like I'm going to keep Risa Sarah strong so that she is willing to take the loss. There we go. At an angle, drop it in, two minutes, Yuki Arai, Yuki Arai, oh my god, not helping me, now Ishikawa, Rina Yamashita, Risa Sara, so bigger success for them for their big win, um, We'll go with their charisma on this and their acting for being very upset at losing. Angle. Boom. Two minutes. Mesa Ruga. Entertainment. Minor. There we go. Her match. Mesa Ruga. Natsu Samire. Here we go. Let's see that we're going 15 minutes total on that one. We're going May. Uh, open match, decisive win. I don't know if Natsu's willing to take that. Nope. Talk to her. I like to consider putting Mesa Ruga over. All right, perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Angle, dump it in. Two minutes. There's a uh, Natsu Samire. And she's gonna use her charisma, I guess. Minor, uh, I guess it'd just be entertainment. And uh, build herself up, sort of after losing that match. <clears throat> Here, three minutes. Momo coming out with uh, Hikari. And now Kakuta for their stuff. Their pre match promo. Perfect. Match. Main event. We got Jungle Kion on one side, we've got Momo Watanabe on the other side. Here we got free Wi-Fi with them. We got JD Lioness is with them. Boom. 20 minutes total for this main event. We've got Hanan beating now. Open match, decisive win, flash pinfall. There we go. Toxic, how's it going? There we go. All right. Woo! 18 segments. Fly it out the door. That is exactly what I want. All right. This is Jungle Kiona with Akari. And now, all right. Entertainment, acting, and selling. There you go. Builds up at least those two. Done. Woo! 
Woo! Under 10 minutes, right at the 10 minute mark, too. <clears throat> Nothing happening there. 125 minutes. Uh, where did I put the extra minute? There's where the extra minute came out. 124 minutes. I don't think it mattered all that much, but, you know, I kind of want to know where the uh, additional minute came from. All right. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Tell me, says some good shit in it. Yeah, vitamin C. I need some stuff with some vitamin C in it. <clears throat> it sounds like a good, solid idea. All right. Guess we're going to start the show. 18 segments, 124 minutes. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. Out the door we go. All right, Idol Pro Live Stage 37. This is the second show of the month sold out. Shinjuku Face is where we are in front of uh, after coming back from uh, Nagoya just a few days ago. Sayurinamba comes in, runs down the card like she usually does, and once again, like usual, she is interrupted this time by Miyakoko and Chie who come in insulting her, and uh, they said they have a match tonight, and they don't care what the uh, card says they're going on right now and they want to wrestle right now and so they do they take on the team of yuri and yoshiko hasagawa decent enough match went only nine and a half minutes when yuri ended up uh submitting chie koishikawa and getting a surprise win for uh for their team and uh yeah kind of a surprise win for this uh put together team here of yuri and uh yapi let's see here miyakogo pretty much they're all pretty much in the same boat except for uh yapi really the only one who uh was really dragging amongst everybody which is a shame because in real life she's actually quite good she's not bad uh miyako goes pissed at chie losing and and uh submitting chie attempts to calm her down while she's uh nursing her uh, injured limb and uh they leave to the back as uh miyakoko is pissed and uh, that leaves to our next match. The Strong Kickers coming out. Of course, they have the Twin Spirit titles match coming up against Mari Koto. And uh, as a bit of a uh, preview for that, we'll have a couple of one-on-one -on -one matches featuring the two teams. And uh, the challenge. <clears throat> and, of course, Camille comes out, talks about the challenge and the uphill climb that it is to defeat herself and Mirai, considering how long they have held the titles and how many other people they have run through uh, in their title defenses. And they wonder if Marikota can really do it. And uh, then we get the match here. Mirai Mayumi taking on one half of Marikota in Maria Takeda. It does go a little over 15 minutes, but unfortunately, Mirai hits the Dr. Bomb. And uh, gets the win there as Strong Kickers take the first uh, of the singles matches here. And uh, fantastic heat and good wrestling. So a strong matchup, at least. That uh, that at least says something. And uh, Kohaku at ringside. They drag her back in. And, uh, you know, picks up, their, picks up their head by their hair. And uh, really wonders if they can beat them. And uh, she basically tells Kohaku, I will see you at the next live stage. So we have that at least in the books for uh, the next live stage. Kamiyu will take on Kohaku. Momo Kahanazono coming out. <clears throat> she's recovered from her cage match. It's been a couple weeks. She's still a little sore, but uh, she's looking to reset with everyone's support and uh, has, has her uh, bubble gun, of course. And uh, doesn't help out too much as she has to face Himika Arita in her uh, return match here. And Himika just, uh, it, it was an exceptional match, but was just not able to make anything happen here. Just under 13 minutes. Himika uh, puts up Momika and submits her with an Argentine backbreaker and really carried this matchup in terms of, uh, in terms of their, uh, 
of uh, their performances there. So Himika carrying that one and getting the win here over Momika. So maybe not quite 100% as she would like to be. <clears throat> well, Himika is uh, is uh, celebrating. She takes the microphone. She's looking to get back into the title hunt. And uh, then uh, we get Sayakami Tani that comes out the, uh, the, the curtain from the back and she comes out and she wants to challenge her. She thinks that uh, she is ready to challenge for the Royal Spirit title. And uh, so she wants to make that uh, number one contenders match happen between herself and Himika. And uh, we leave it there for right now. We'll see what ends up happening with that. We get AI Princess coming out. They're excited for the challenge on uh, taking on Death Riot. They're not too happy about it, but they, they seem to be uh, faking their enthusiasm as uh, Death Riot come out with their uh, with their weapons, and uh, they're not really amused by their uh, by their antics and not really worried about them. <clears throat> and so that takes us to the match. Fantastic heat and good wrestling. We get a roll-up. Yuki Arai gets Rina Yamashita into a roll-up and gets a shock win for AI Princess. And uh, Death Riot uh, take the loss here, despite the fact that they literally had to carry. They literally had to carry the other team through this. Holy shit. 56, 70, and then 28. Good Lord. <clears throat> Start a new game at the start of the month of August. Uh, RWC, your year in Roman and one Von Wagner SmackDown tag champs. Gotta love AI booking. Yeah, no kidding. It is definitely something to behold. I think uh, some of the AI booking I've seen uh, might have been 2016. I don't know if it was 2020 or 2016, but it had uh, literally uh, Kazuchika Okada hold the IWGP title for like three years. It was ridiculous. Before he finally lost, I forget who he even lost it to, but yeah, he had like three. Three, uh, your world champion Ricky Knight Jr. is arrested. Fun. Well, uh, I really hate to, I really hate to do a told to so, but, uh, you know, when you're, when you're, uh, dealing with anyone in the Knight family, you kind of run that risk. The least would be Soraya, but, uh, it's about it. Everyone else in that, everyone else in that, uh, that family is not great. <laughs> And I think there are a lot of people who are questioning that when they came out for their uh, their whole uh, Wembley thing. It was like, really? We're going to celebrate the family? Uh, so, yeah, now when Yuki celebrate their roll-up victory, Rina is incensed and Risa Sarah is not happy either. And, uh, yeah, they're both pissed off. But, uh, hey, AI Princess with a, with a strong win there. Uh, we get May Suruga coming out for her match. She thanks everyone for the support. This is the first time we've seen her since uh, Tokyo's Most Wanted in her cage match. She looks forward to a future title shot. She's looking to also get back in the Royal Spirit title hunt after her win against Momoka Hanazono. Uh, but first, she has to overcome Natsu Sumire, which actually does manage to happen. Twelve and a half minutes is all it really took. A uh, fast-paced match, a very goofy match between the two, but nonetheless, May Saruga somehow gets Natsu up for a brain buster, drops her down, gets the three, and May Saruga with a strong win uh, against uh, Natsu Samire, against uh, a, a fairly big star, at least in terms of this promotion. So there you go. Natsu's a bit upset about not winning. She uh, insults May for being a, a tiny goblin. And uh, basically says uh, she misses Martina. Martina hasn't been around for God knows how long since the last time they teamed up. And uh, she's going to go look for a drink and hopefully she'll find Martina somewhere uh, if she's still in the country or not. And that is pretty much that. We get to our main event. Momo Watanabe and free Wi-Fi coming out for a six-person tag in the main event. And uh, Momo comes out, talks all three of them up, and while uh, Hikari's feeling a little gassed up after her uh, her Tokyo's Most Wanted win, she wonders, hey, if I beat Jungle Kiona, you know, maybe I should consider going after the Royal Spirit title. And uh, this has a, a look of of uh, death on the face of Momo Watanabe, looking like she's if, if looks can kill, Hikari would be dead right now. Uh, Momo gets kind of in her face and uh, warns her 
to uh, not cross her. And uh, if, she, you know, she warns her what could potentially happen if she were to try to challenge her for the Royal Spirit title. Things don't go well for the people who challenge her. But for now, they'll get through this match. Tonight's main event, it'll be those three te teaming up against Jungle Kiona. And then, of course, Asahi and Hanan of the JD Lionesses. And uh, an exceptional match here for the six-person tag. Uh, goes just over 17 minutes. And shockingly enough, Hanan is the one who gets the, the pin here in the main event. She rolls up now Kakata. And uh, gets the win for herself, Asahi, and uh, Jungle Kiona. So, big win there. Let me see here. Jungle Kiona and Momo both doing extremely good. Hikari Noah got a 60. Holy shit. That's about the best I've seen out of her so far. She's really coming into her coming into herself as far as uh, uh, her abilities are concerned. Jungle Kiona afterwards, as she... Uh, you know, deals with uh, now Kakata. Uh, Kiona gets up into the ring with a microphone, confronts Hikari. She said, there you go. I'm here. And uh, what I wanted is I want to fight. I want one more fight against you. We haven't finished this. It's one and one. We need one more match. And uh, Hikari uh, basically slinks out of the ring with uh, now and uh, basically says, you're not going to fight me yet. Uh, you're going to have to face now Kakata first, which uh, now seems shocked by the fact that she was just thrown to Jungle Kiona <laughs> uh, by Hikari. And with that, the match is made for the next event. It will be Jungle Kiona taking on now Kakata. And there we go. 59. Very nice. All right. Uh, you know what? Let me see here. I'm going to give props to Hikari Noah for how good she's been doing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give props to Rina Yamashita and Risa Sarah for carrying their match. I'm going to tell her she's awesome. I'm going to praise them for their performances. Seem please, seem please, seem please. There you go. Why does it feel like there's something poking me in my my slipper on my big toe. I don't know what it is. I don't think there's anything there. I'd be able to feel it by now. Let's see here. Sorry, just trying to get my slipper back on. It's of an injured damaged kneecap. Ooh. Uh, otherwise, not much else going on. We have our next event Thursday, week three. So let's get that set up here. Uh, Thursday, week three in October, active, boom. So eight days. And then we got our final live stage of the month. Fantastic. Um, I think, don't think there's much else. I don't think there's much money left either. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I, uh, hopefully, you know what? Our ticket sales will make up for it. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> This is this is something. All right, so that's good. Nothing there. That's good. We're just trying to get through the end of the month for uh, Vertigo. So, and I'm just trying to keep my sinuses and everything else in check. <sighs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling congested. Shinji Hirata, nothing, nothing. Natty Nightheart, winning online thing. Mio Yamashita, agreeing to a deal with Oz. Okay. Not much I can do about that. Don't really care that much. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if turning down my, yeah, turning down my, uh, And turning down my speakers a little bit helps. Uh, Tenzan and Masahiro Chono honored in the New Japan Hall of Fame as a team. Was that like NWO Japan 2000 or Team 2000 or whatever they're called? Uh, New Japan Hall of Fame. Conan steps down as the head booker of AAA. Wow. Ishii and Takashi Sugira. 
NWA Intercontinental Tag Team Championship. In NWA? Are they wrestling in NWA? Where's the Intercontinental Tag Team title? Okay, so they're wrestling for AJPW. Or the, yeah, in Zero One. So which one has these titles? No, so it's gotta be uh, Pro Wrestling Zero One. Why do they have an NWA title? Why do they have two NWA titles? The NWA Intercontinental Tag Team. Was this like brought out of the... Well, a lot of this looks like Zero One title stuff. That's odd. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not used to that. The NWA stuff being in zero one. Zero one still technically exists, don't they? Like, I knew they were pretty much kind of out of it, but I think they still, I think I remember seeing that they still did some shows. Like, they really didn't have, they really didn't have shows. Like, they, they, zero one also had AWA belts. Interesting. I want to say they were still doing some shows like because I remember seeing something where I was like, who is this person? And they were like a zero one guy and they were like wrestling for zero one, like within the last year or so. And it just like got me where I was like, really? He's done. <clears throat> They're still going. Rebby Sky dating official 911. Oh, I forgot that her and Matt Hardy divorced and now she's in Mexico. Madeline takes MMA fight. All right. Is she really an MMA fighter? That's not something I remember. I know she's a freelancer now. I forgot that there were some people that were on my, uh, I think on my cut list. I think there were some people I was going to trim off that it was like, okay, I'm just, there's no reason to consider to continue having them here. Clark Connors zero one. Clark Connors also a guy that I could, uh, bring in to America, but yeah, with new Japan's touring schedule it might not be a great idea. Just never get to use them for anything. <clears throat> Evan Fletcher signed by a bunch of people. Only 23. I knew the Aussie Open guys were kind of young, but damn, that's young, young. <clears throat> I did add in some people. Uh, usually when... RWC mentions that they have added new people into the uh, into the database. I uh, I'll throw them in. So it's interesting now that we're far enough behind that we're getting people who aren't actually uh, aren't actually in <laughs> in the world yet. Uh, Will Osprey spinal disalignment. A few months out of action. Oh no. So say how long is he gone for? I think I could see that in the news, right? Oh, 49 days. Okay, so that's barely two months. <clears throat> Incoming for New Japan. Alley Cat quit wherever she was at. Will Ito shine new faces. All right. Not a whole lot going on. Oh, someone wants more money. Effie wants more money. 60 bucks. That's not bad. Sabian, that was a CZW guy, wasn't it? He's in there, right? Yeah, CZW. Black G's, that's what it was. Wasn't it him and Ruckus? 
Uh, last night's marvelous. Zicky Dice walking out. Okay. Uh, more injuries. New faces. Mirai Mayumi wants more money. 80 bucks. Yeah, I guess. Why not? Killing me here. The Joshi's asking for more money is not as good because uh, I, I don't quite have the money. <laughs> I don't have as much money flowing as I do in uh, Vertigo. Let me see. Tony Casanova. Hmm. I don't know who he is. Zack Sabre Jr. got a hip injury. Okay, it's just hurt, basically. Don Callis joins band camp. All right. Not much going on there. <clears throat> All right. I got 16 segments to do. Rain or Peyton Banks. I remember Peyton Banks. Who am I actually thinking of? It wasn't Rain. It was a... Oh, Tracy Brooks. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, AEW rising fast. Uh-oh. Let me look at this. Oh, they're big. All right. So they've moved up past NXT. Yeah, I bet you within like a year, they could probably, uh, I don't know, do a Wembley show. I don't know how well that would work, but who knows? Pulled hamstring. All right. Nothing happened there. Oh, no, nothing happening there. You can go to TwitchCon. Good for you. Is that in LA like it always is? Shinjuku face. Perfect. Save it. Done. Send your favorite female streamer with my briefs with dried redacting on them. Ew. Ugh. I know you're joking, but ugh. <clears throat> you're acting like, uh, you're acting like, uh, you're going to be able to get close to your favorite streamer. What was the, there was the one video, I forgot the one video where it was uh, the guy talking about uh, Sweet Anita and all of her orbiters and he just has like this, uh, and he just has this like paint file and he's just showing like Sweet Anita in the middle and he's making these much bigger circles just like surrounding her as her orbiters and made sure, he's like and making sure that every step is the greatest step she's ever taken and that she is weighted on hand and foot. Yeah, that would probably... You wouldn't be able to get close to him, I'm sure. <coughs> some some smelly uh, channel mod is going to be there going, What do you think you're doing? Sayuri Namba. Uh, Death Rider. Mashta. Risa Sarah. Yuki Arai. And... Now Ishikawa there. Fighting, fighting, selling, selling. Success, success, success. There we go. Boom. <clears throat> See the dating strategy vid you sent? I think so, yeah. Uh, I'd have to look again. I'm pretty sure I watched it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even watch the whole thing. Let's see, locate the target, engage and observe. She definitely wants you to show them. I don't know what is this is, but this really looks like the, uh, <laughs> my favorite thing about that is the simple fact that like, I could just skim this and be like, oh yeah, you know, what's funny is all of that. Every little, every little discord message that gets shown in that <laughs> is like some horrifying is some horrifying thing that was like shown that that basically was practically word for word shown by like some guy some major like streamer or content creator in like a twit longer getting exposed some of that shit looked like that one austin guy when he was getting uh when he was getting nudes from 13 year olds and he was like i'm gonna kill myself yeah <clears throat> uh 2v2 oh, yeah. uh, no 
2v2. Boop. Come on. We'll just do hardcore. That'd be the, that'd be the best way. Death Riot. AI Princess. Balls co punt anywhere. Balls count anywhere. Uh, we'll let Rina Yamash to get her, her heat back against uh, Yuki Rai. We'll still make it an open match, though. They'll at least try, but it's not gonna not gonna work. There we go. <clears throat> SCSA. Let's see. Add angle. Boom. Three minutes. Uh, ramp. Oh, I need to go grab a local worker. Just reset all of this. There you are. Come here. 30 bucks to be in this vignette with us. There you go. We're going to do a comedy vignette and you're going to be a part of it. Yes, I know this vignette doesn't involve you dry humping May, but you know, it's something. <laughs> entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Minor success, minor success, minor success. Boom. All right. All right. That's segment three. Segment four. Idea for a specific game. I, yeah, I would disagree. Let's run a TV show and a weekly event at the same time. I think it'll work. Technically, I think the, the way they've done that is I think you can run a TV show and an event on the same night. The TV show will take the first priority and go on before the event. And then you do the event afterwards. So it wouldn't be the same time, but you can run a, uh, a TV, a TV show and then an event on the same night. So you can do like a Sunday night heat followed by a pay-per-view type thing. All right. Jungle Kiona and now Kakuta. All right. 13 minutes. Sophie from EWR would hate. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <coughs> uh, open match. Decisive. There we go. Can I make sure it's a... Uh... I'll make sure she taps. Pretty sure Kiona has the... It's the Argentine backbreaker, I think, right? Uh, I think I'd have to do it in the roster, right? Move set. Diving splash. Gut wrench power bomb. Alright, so we'll take away the submission thing. Who just did the Argent who just did a torture rack? Someone just did a torture rack finish in the last one. Was it Himika? I think it's Himika. I'm getting Himika and Jungle Kiona mixed up. There we go. Three. So, Jungle Kiona. Ikari. Now, Kakata. Once again, gets on her. Her acting, selling as she's just backing off. So, this is more neutral than anything. This still puts up Kiona a little bit better. Goal. Two minutes. Wasn't much of Michiko Miyagi this. Wasn't much of all of Revelation. But uh, hopefully we'll get something from them. Minor success. Not a full success. I don't know why it did that. Here we go. Uh, new Fight Forever DLC is that. Yeah, two wrestlers. Anything else? Was there anything I missed other than two wrestlers? Uh, let's see here. Nota Katenma on one side. Rina on the other side because she is with JK Fallen Stars. 
and they are in Nodica's with sleep train angels. Boom. We're going 14 minutes. And Nodica getting the win. I don't know who could take the pin. I don't know if anyone could honestly take that pin. But it'll be decisive finish nonetheless. There we go, seven segments. It's an eight. Come on. There we go. Let's see here. Two minutes. Yep. <clears throat> Maria. Haku. Uh, Yuki Kami Fuku and Mirai. All right. So, entertainment, entertainment. They don't really talk. We'll use their charisma. So, they'll be out there, but they won't get on the mics. But it kind of builds them all up for their eventual title match. So, then we've got... Kohaku, Yuki Kamifuku, Yuki Kamifuku. There we go. Boy, I gotta tell you, I'm glad that my uh, my Discord friends are not here because they would be very upset, very very upset to know that I'm jobbing out Camille. They love Camille. I don't even know if they remember her full name, other than they just call her Legs. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think here. I think I have a. Uh, I have sound drops because we ended up spending the money <laughs> about five bucks each between myself and one of the other guys <laughs> to get up to 24 sound drops in. Uh, in our discord so that we can just uh, we can just spam. uh we could just spam uh, stuff during during Tokyo Joshi shows, during Stardom shows, during Gon Pro shows. <clears throat> they all have their favorites. Camille is usually the overwhelming favorite for everybody, except my buddy Scruffy. He loves Vert Vixen and wants to see her back. And I had to tell him the unfortunate thing that she's mostly just on tours. She's probably not going to be there a whole lot. Uh, let's see here. Maria Takeda. Kohaku. You're right. So charisma, charisma, acting, selling, I think. Yeah. <laughs> So, betters them a little bit. All right. Uh, here we go. All right. Segment 11. We're getting there. Piling it in here. Is that two minutes? That was two minutes. All right. Yeah, I like Kohaku, too. She's pretty much just in wave, I think, right now, which is much harder to find than most other things. <laughs> Not to Martina. And they're just. Ah, we'll use Martina's charisma. She doesn't speak Japanese, so. Wouldn't be helpful. <clears throat> Who else did they like? Oh, they really like. Um, they really like uh, Himawari. Mostly because of her extremely tight shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and her constant camel toe. Uh, let's see. Queens of Kampai. JD Linuses. So. Here we go. 14 minutes. We've got uh, Natsu taking the win over. I think Asahi can take the loss. A little bit better. Open match. Decisive win. There you go. Give me one second. I need to grab some. I need to grab some more water. I'm pretty much out. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. Oh.
I'm already like sweating too. God, this sucks. I'm so like heated. I'm just so, I'm so overheated like <laughs> all night. Oh, I want to get this done so I can go to sleep. Need as much sleep as possible and just drown myself in NyQuil. Uh, not to Martina. Um, Anon. Asahi. Entertainment. Charisma. Uh, selling, selling. Minor successes here. Boom. <clears throat> Go to sleep. All these new you're a bunk dick rider. Ugh. Yeah. There's not. There's not a lot of me that is like excited about even potentially going to like collision. But I am excited about potentially going to dynamite. They got what five weeks from now. They're going to be in uh, Kansas City. Well, Independence. I was considering going because, you know, it's only about a three hour drive. Took the day of off to go there, to drive down there, go there and then come back and then took the day off after that so I could rest. Moka Miyamoto. <laughs> Yukari Hosokawa. Two minutes on that. Three way dance. We've got Himika Rita, uh, May Saruga, and Saya Kamitani. Yep. 24 minutes total. And we have got Saya taking the win here. Open match, decisive win. Here we go. Boom. boom. Is that three minutes? Momo Watanabe, Saya Kamitani. And, yep, I think we're good on that. 16 segments, 120 minutes even. So we're good to go, pretty much. Anything on the booking analysis to worry about? $7,600. I hate everything. <coughs> Still not quite going to quite get to uh, what it was last month. So I guess not that bad. But, yeah, we don't have a lot of money. All right. All right. Here we are. Lido Pro Live Stage 38. Another sellout crowd here at Shinjuku Face. The last show of the month here in October. We start off, of course, as always, with Sayuri Namba running down the card. And uh, she isn't really interrupted by anyone in particular trying to get some mic time as much as he's interrupted by uh the the visual of now ishikawa and yuki arai being tossed out the curtain followed by Irina yamashita and risa sarah uh coming out from behind that too and uh they throw him a bit around some of the areas of the arena before eventually throwing him in the ring and uh they had a match scheduled for tonight and we will have that now falls count anywhere here between uh Death Riot and AI Princess, a uh, uh, rematch from last week. And it uh, doesn't go very well this time for uh, AI Princess as it goes just under 12 and a half minutes. Rini Yamashita hits Splash Mountain on Yuki Urai, gets her win back, and Death Riot get their win back over AI Princess. <coughs> as they leave and head to the back, we get a vignette we haven't seen uh, in a little bit. Ram and Yuna. And uh, Ram is with Yuna, and they're going to be uh, training for the next match. And Yuna called upon a friend of hers from her Chaco Pro days, Balianaki, to uh, help her out with this. 
and uh, very bored on trying to improvise dialogue. Damn. But uh, nonetheless, he, they they try to do some uh, terrorizing of, of the public while they're trying to do some some training for their next potential matches. They're all in their gear as well, just out and about. And uh, the antics of Ram and Yuna continue uh, as we perhaps see them in a match uh, next month. We get uh, the challenge that was thrown down. Jungle Kiona facing now Kakata makes a fairly short work of her under 11 and a half minutes. Hits her with the spinning gut wrench power bomb and gets the win over now. And uh, Jungle Kiona with a... a um, Dominant showing in this contest is uh, feels that she's ready to take on Hikari. In fact, she demands Hikari to meet her next month. Hikari just uh, looks a bit worried and uh, tends to now and uh, sort of drags her out of the ring and backs her up to the backstage area as uh, she doesn't seem to answer jungle. Revelation. Uh, they are uh, somewhere in uh, what appears to be some sort of abandoned building. And uh, Michiko Miyagi is uh, is uh, cutting a promo with uh, Harna and Echo and Abaddon with her. She does some training where she essentially tosses Harna and Abaddon around uh, to get herself ready as well. Uh, so you see uh, her version of uh, her version of uh, training is is taking her minions and just uh, just using them as training dummies. When are Sarah Yamashita and now Noah in a real glass match? I mean, Hikari would be up for it. I don't know about now Kakata. Justin Timberlake's crying here, River plays. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, you know what? Three of those women would unironically be okay with <laughs> probably doing that match. Now, when you say real glass, I want to know what that means because, like, Real glass can just mean tempered glass, which, like, obviously is not going to cut and slice you open with the way that, like, glass glass, non-tempered glass does. Which I assume is what they mean by real glass. Uh, so we get our uh, six-person tag, Noto Katenma teaming up with the Sleep Train Angels, taking on Rena and JK Fallen Stars. Goes just over 11 minutes. Noto Katenma grabs Hina, hits the kill switch, and gets the win for herself. And sleep train angels, and uh, not much to say about that there, other than a solid win for those three. <clears throat> we get Mari Koto before the match. They are uh, they're talking about the losses that they've suffered, but they were able to become the number one contenders and are ready to challenge next month for the uh, Twin Spirit titles. And they feel like the Strong Kickers are a bit too confident. They feel like they don't take them seriously. And when they don't take uh, the, them seriously just because they beat them the first time, they're liable to lose their titles the second time. And uh, pointing that out, uh, Camille and Mirai don't seem uh, real fluffed by it. But uh, we get our match. Kohaku versus Yuki Kamifuku. Fantastic heat. Good wrestling. 13 and a half minutes just over. And uh, Kohaku gets the win. And a uh, good win there between those two. And with that, it pretty much ties them up dead even with the one one in their singles matches uh, with Kohaku and Kamiyu, with Mari Koto and the Strong Kicker, sorry. So one win each between the two of them going into their uh, title match, uh, perhaps at the end of the month at uh, Step Up. And uh, Mari Koto celebrate, Kamiyu recovers, Mirai, Mirai arguing with the ref. She keeps saying that uh, she kicked out before the three. And whatever excuses she can come up with uh, doesn't work as Camille is still trying to regain her uh, composure as uh, Marikoto uh, celebrates to the back. The Queens of Kampai come out. Natsu found Martina and they're out for a match. Natsu, of course, not too happy about losing last week. So hopefully with uh, Martina here, uh, they will be successful and... They're planning on drinking later. So, hey, if they win tonight, everyone gets to uh, go to her bar and uh, celebrate the win. And so they face the JD Lionesses, who have had a fair bit of momentum going for them in the last couple of months here. Fantastic heat and great wrestling. 
Uh, did not work out well for them. The Queens of Kampai being a little bit better as Natsu hits Asahi with an elbow drop and gets the pin in just over 12 minutes. And there you go. Natsu and Martina getting the victory there. And with that, Natsu celebrates with Martina. They've got alcohol. They invite the crowd to her bar to celebrate the win. And then uh, look at Hanan and Asahi and say, unfortunately, you guys are not old enough. You guys are not invited. Which sort of upset Hanan and Asahi as they go fake crying to the back as uh, Natsu and Martina continue um, celebrating. We get a couple short vignettes. Moka Miyamoto, who hasn't been seen uh, so far this month. Uh, doing some uh, karate training as well as uh, a tournament that she was involved in. And then uh, Yukari uh, being busy with uh, with Gleet, showing some highlights from some matches that she was in over the course of the month there for them. And then we get our main event, Himiko Arena, Mei Saruga, Saya Kamitani, a three-way dance. So Mei Saruga was added to the challenge between Himika and Saya. The winner of this challenges Momo Watanabe at Step Up next month for the uh, uh, not Vertigo Royal Spirit Championship. An exceptional matchup, just over 21 minutes. May Saruga went first, and then Himika Arita goes second to the Phoenix Splash, and uh, somehow, some way, Sayakami Tani pulls through and has become the number one contender to the Royal Spirit Championship. With that, the Royal Spirit Champion herself, Momo Watanabe, comes out, gets in Saya's face. They have a bit of a stare down, and uh, she wonders if uh, Saya truly feels that she's ready to take on this title match, that she's truly grown enough to uh, take this belt away from her. And uh, we'll set that up here, pre-book that match. We have got Momo. Defending against Saya. There we go. Royal Spirit title. <coughs> Oops. Since it's also not added, we're going to add this as well, uh, which is, of course, Strong Kickers and Marikoto. For the Twin Spirit titles. There we go. So we've got our two title matches booked. And we are out the door. 61. Very, very nice. Um, we'll give some props to Himika. Uh, who else was who else was in a bad mood? I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think Himika was in a bad mood, but I'm trying to see here i don't remember if ram was or not but we're gonna do that as well and then saya so we're gonna tell saya she's awesome we're gonna tell ram she's awesome we're gonna praise him because performance scene please scene please scene please there you go Woo. you're shy of an hour <laughs> i feel like death maybe not quite like death I'm not feeling like being super, super de duper entertaining. New stable, the swarm, Cody Trent, Chuck Taylor. Interesting. Oh no, what are you showing me? Is it a video? What is this? Also, I had no idea he was going to. Let me see here. Super J Cassie coming. Uh, the information has entered an agreement, but suppose things change all the time. I think matters. I had no idea he was going to pro QAnon movies or this one. A different suggestion. I suppose his name is always in the mix. QAnon still breaks my heart a little bit. Uh, I stay with their children on the base. AEW people are not fighting each other. <laughs> What is this? Ian Riccoboni and uh, Kevin Kelly? Is this is is that is that what it is? Mm -mm -mm. 
and him choosing to give us notice of 25. That's my agreement. <coughs> uh. Yeah, it really is an impossible challenge, isn't it? To have AEW people not fight each other. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, AEW's taking some new faces. Shuri takes an MMA fight. I feel like she's a little too old. 33? I mean, I guess. She's done it before, but... Jesus. Oh, she jumped ship to AAA, too. I didn't even realize that. At some point, she got signed full-on to AAA. MCW have made an offer to Curtis Axel. AEW is taking Tom Lawler. So that's some of the new faces that AEW is signing. Filthy Tom Lawler. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's not, not really any of my business to... Uh, Comment on the AEW. I'm sure people will be like, fuck Kevin Kelly, man. Fuck him. Piece of shit. But it's like, I don't know. That's that's probably what's going to happen. And Tony Khan being who he is is just going to be like, I'm never going to use him again. All right. Hey, we made money. We're going to spend all that money now. KC Spinelli. Wasn't she an impact for a little while? I don't remember. I don't know if she was a character or if they just used her in like some during like some of their worst spots. Got Tom Lawler, Hall of Immortals, Kurt Angle staying with Ring of Honor. Go Shizaki and Noah. Wait, wait, what? Go Shizaki may be on his way out of Noah. Uh oh. New team in PWG, Brody King and Levi Shapiro. New champion in NWA. The Rock and Roll Express lost the world tag titles to the Dawsons. Uh, stuff in IWA Mid-South. Alexander Hammerstone won the NWA National Heavyweight title. NWA Anniversary Show 73. Which is weird, because then that means next year's is 74. And in real life, we had 75. So I feel like they're they're back a year. <clears throat> now Saya wants more money? Oh my god, everyone asking for the extra sixty to eighty dollars. This is bullshit. Seventeen segments. That's what I need to book. You say the five star match. Which one? Oh. Vitamin C. <clears throat> Mojizuki at Noah. Noah Junior League. Yeah, Noah having Mochi win at 52 years old actually kind of lines up with Noah. So that doesn't seem that much. When Gilberti's retired. Uh, team in stardom, Itsuki Hoshino and Tikla. AEW hire Maxwell Jacob Freeman. Oh, yeah, that's right. He left for WWE, I think. He le Oh, no, he left AEW, and now he's being re-signed by AEW. So MJF is going back to AEW. <laughs> Robar's retired. MCW hired Curtis Axel. All right. There we go. I, I honestly don't know which, which match it is with Bull Rope. I'm thinking it was like some all-in match, but I don't think there was a Bull Rope match at all-in, so I don't know. EC3 versus Tyrus. That was a bull rope match. 
Ugh. Tom Lawler joins AEW. There you go. Daria Baronado joins AEW. Barry Royal. Feel like or Buddy Royal. Feel like I could probably find out who he is. Never really heard of him. Daria Baronado leaving. She was hired by she left WWE, hired by CZW, and now she's going to AEW. Tyrus retired after. Yeah, I know that. I was going to say, at the very least, Tyrus is retired. Shuffled, shuffled away. <laughs> 50 to 130. I'll give you 60 of it. I cried. No, you didn't. I saw how he ran the ropes. Holy shit. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's see here. AEW hired Jonathan Gresham. Well, there you go. He gets that exclusive written contract. He can now take over duties for uh, Marco Stunt. <laughs> uh, coming Storm, Kurt Angle has got a written extension for Ring of Honor. <laughs> AEW's got more people they're looking for. Fred, yeah, he's staying with ROH. Okay. I'm trying to get through this because I'm feeling I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I cannot wait to take some NyQuil and just pass out. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I do need to get better here in the next like 28 hours. That would be nice. That would be very, very nice. Great Kojika passed away. New team. Jonathan Gresham and a kid are a new team. WWE hire Walter. Okay. Oh, he was a NXT UK guy. Okay. Alex Zane walks out on ring of honor. He's still, yeah, he's still got a couple of the places. Uh, Sean Hernandez is retiring. Tracy Smothers is leaving. Uh, Yosuke Santa Maria press conference. Introduce a new comedy wrestler style from his old technician flyer. Excuse me, Yosuke Santa Maria wasn't already a comedy wrestler. Is it? Is, it's a, it's official now that Yosuke Santa Maria is a comedy wrestler. Okay. All oh, the ownership of BJW is available. All right. Pay per view time. Or PLE time. I'm always going to say pay-per-view. I don't give a shit. AEW is bringing back the pay-per-view. <laughs> Automatic, everybody. There you go. Vertigo Studio will be able to sell that bad boy out. All right. 17 segments. I've already got the pre-booked matches set up. Oh, God. stage incident eric cannon scarred armstrong hour late to pick it up uh, driven small positive impact good all right nothing too bad incidents but not major incidents like people fighting each other it's always good to hire guys who are not pains in the asses nick densmore just thanking everybody coming out boom 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 there we go pre-booking christian casanova ryan davidson and to the booking sheet, we got 15 minutes total. Casanova, open match, decisive win. There you go. Angle. Drop it in. JT Dunn. Christian Casanova. Nick Dinsmore. Uh, fighting, selling, selling, minor success, minor defeat, minor defeat. There we go. <clears throat> Segment four. Add to booking sheet one called Manders and Paro. 12 minutes. We got one called Manders. Open match. All out. <coughs> Decisive finish. 
Just two big boys beefing into each other. Two, two, two beefy men, two meaty men smacking meat. That's what that match is. Ten minutes of two men beating the shit out of each other. There you go. Selling, selling. Uh, yeah. Minor success there. There we go. Free book. <laughs> Your computer internet went down. Damn. That sucks. 19 minutes. 19 total. We'll give... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Desmond Xavier, the win over A.R. Fox. Open match, decisive win. I feel like it it hits better when it uh, is the, the actual guy. Extremely unhappy. Here, are you willing to put him over? I don't think he's willing to. You're not interested. You're annoyed. Okay. Uh, all right. There, we'll just pick it. Wesley, also you have Carmelo. Yeah, you didn't know that? The Rascals have been here forever, as is Christian Casanova. You've been here for this. <laughs> it's time to do the suicide DDT through the table. Oh, no. Uh, segment seven. Drop it in. Three minutes. We're looking at... Uh, Yuki Ueno shooting my cat Samada. Drew Parker. Zachary Wentz. Desmond Xavier. Big success for them on their debut. Three minutes beating them down. There you go. Mm -mm, tag belts. Tag belts are next. We got 16. We got, uh, let's do Trey Lamar. Doesn't matter who he beats, honestly. Open match, decisive win. There you go. Make sure that belts, yeah, the belts should have been on the line, so all good. There we go. Next one, we got two minutes, Alvin Tankman, Ray Lamar, Assad, Wheeler Yuta. Uh, let's let them all sell their match. Well, you know what? <laughs> well, let's let them use their charisma. And it kind of puts them all over here with the... Uh, Shake hands, raising each other. Good match. It's two face teams, so it makes sense that they're not going to have bad blood against each other. 17. Let's see. Cardona. Open. Decisive. Should it be decisive? Tainted. There you go. He doesn't always win by tainted means, but he will frequently do it. Matt Cardona. Ty Ray. He's going to celebrate. He's going to be sad. It's going to be at least a minor success for Cardona. Here we go. <clears throat> do that. Two minutes. Big match intro for Ricky Starks. Speedball. Uh, we're going to use their star quality, I think, would be. Pretty much uh, hyping them both up here for their match. All right. Add to the booking sheet. We're going 22 minutes, so 20 minutes total. Speedball. Speedball. Uh, open match, decisive win. Dunsky, extremely unhappy. Talk to him, booking. 
yo, put his ass over. Just put his ass over. It's 13, 14. He's keeping the white man down. Well, go watch Collision then. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's do his. Uh, no. <laughs> Listen, he's being pushed over there, but yeah. <laughs> because he is on it. Ah. Do they do the quarterly breakdowns? I oh, Well, I think they do the quarterly breakdowns. I just don't see them as much as I do for Dynamite. <clears throat> I'm going to do bigger success because this, this is a big, like, tournament win, so. Yeah, this is a big, this is a big tournament win for him, so really, really get some, some stuff there. Segment 15. Yeah, it's a real shame as someone who, as a teenager who just absolutely loved CM Punk to the point to where I'm straight edge 109 <laughs> on here on Twitter. Yeah, it's it's uh, it, it's um, what's the word? It's it's uh, disheartening. Microphone, minor success. Boom. Main event. Add to the booking sheet. Whoops. 19. Mayweather. Open match. Decisive victory. There we go. And 17. Boom. Two minutes. Anthony Mayweather, Mike Bailey's there. He's doing his thing, and he's just out there. Boom. All right. Save it. 145. That's exactly what it needs to be. We are where we're supposed to be, so we're at the sellout uh, for the studio. That'll be nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to spend the money to, uh, I think, to get that upgraded to 600 here soon. It'll make the TVs look a lot emptier, but <laughs> at least, at least, uh, you know, at least uh, we'll fill it out for the events. All right. I think we're good. 145 minutes. The 17 angles are in there or 17 uh, segments are in there. I think we're good to go. I don't want to waste too much time because, like I said, I'm <laughs> I'm sore. I'm fucking decongested or congested. I'm everything. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Vertigo Neon Zero 2022 in the new Vertigo studio. We have sold it out. Not that impressive, 500 people, but nonetheless, 500 people sell out, which, you know, still fairly impressive for our Joshi promotion, selling out 600 consistently. So, you know what? I'll call it a win. We can uh, probably upgrade our studio here soon, which I assume we'll probably do. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to open it up with Nick Dinsmore, Commissioner Nick Dinsmore. He's going to open up the show, thanking everyone for being here. Excited for tonight's big matches as he tends to open up most of these big pay-per-views. Thanking everyone here and, uh, of course, announcing this is the first ever sellout for Vertigo Studio. He's very excited for that, and uh, he cannot wait to, uh, to do this show. Girlfriendless behavior, if you want an example. Yeah, <laughs> there's going to be plenty. <laughs> uh, you know what? I honestly like with the news that came out over the last day, I'm like, I wonder if I should buy. I wonder if I should buy Twitter premium just to just to hide my likes and not give you any ammo. Spend the money to not give you any ammo. And then I can just like to my heart's content. <laughs> If if they ever make if they ever make bookmarks public, I'm screwed. And I think a lot of people will be. <laughs> I 
I'm not screwed just in a in most other sense other than well, okay, now I can't now I can't hide the uh, the degeneracy. Uh uh, so, yeah, great wrestling, decent reaction in the opening contest here. Christian Casanova beating Ryan Davidson just under 13 and a half minutes by pinfall. Decent little match between the both of them. Casanova getting a strong win here. Yeah, so many, so many Yoshiko Hasegawa posts that I do not, that I bookmark instead of like. <laughs> and a couple Kagama posts and some now Kakata posts. <laughs> I think some other posts too. Uh, so post match, we get JT Dunn coming out. He seems to have the loaded elbow pad already on, as he uh, attacks, as he attacks uh, Christian Casanova, lays him out, and uh, before he can uh, before he can uh, hit Casanova with the loaded elbow pad, Nick Dinsmore comes stomping down to the ring. Gets into the ring and and uh, gets in JT Dunn's face. Dunn uh, kind of does the hand the hand up like backing off, like he's ready to uh, to just go. Dinsmore turns his back to check on Casanova, and that's when Dunn loads his elbow up and hits Nick Dinsmore in the back of the head. So Commissioner Dinsmore knocked out like a light. He is unconscious as. Uh, Dunn ends up screaming out of the ring and uh, referees and, and other uh, officials start coming down to uh, assist Nick Dinsmore after he has been knocked out. Well, we got to drag him out of the ring because we got more matches. That was just the opening contest. One called Manders has his fight against Pero and uh, it's, it's a barn burner between the both of them. It's just two Two big beefy boys beefing into each other, just uh, just slapping meat for ten minutes, and uh, one called Manders ends up getting a, a series of uh, lariats in on Paro, takes him down, it gets the pin, and one called Manders with a good win here against one half the former tag team champions. So there we go, solid win for Manders on our uh, big event here. <laughs> They're both bruised. They're both sore after the chopping and hitting and everything else. Uh, but uh, after the stare down between each other, Arrow uh, extends his hand. Mander shakes his hand. And uh, they seem to go. Uh, Paro seems to leave. Mander celebrates with the crowd for a minute and then uh, heads on out. So a bit of mutual respect, it seems like now, between uh, Manders and Paro. And so we get Falls Count Anywhere, AR Fox and the Tate Twins taking on Drew Parker and the Rascals. And uh, we get Drew Parker. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, it's Desmond Xavier. Sorry. The sub, uh, Superb Wrestling Good Heat goes a little under 17 minutes as uh, Desmond Xavier submits Brent Tate and uh, uh, gets the win there for uh, Drew Parker and the Rascals. So uh, AR Fox and Tate Twins taking a loss here, but uh, AR Fox benefited from having a hot new move and also carried a good chunk of this match. So Desmond Xavier also did well as well. You know what I found out uh, officially is Drew Parker is officially retired now as of like last week. So yeah, and he doesn't have his long hair, of course. How long that uh, retirement will last, who knows? It could be one of those things where a couple years from now he decides to get back in. It could be one of those sick Nick Mondo things where he just decides to fuck off forever and just never come back. And maybe we'll hear about him again in like 10 years. I guess we'll find out. Because I'm, I'm wondering now if he's still going to stay in Japan and do like uh, do like commentary or anything. I can't imagine he will. Like I think he, he's got to be gone, gone, right? I imagine he's probably gone back to the UK. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll see what happens with that. I never, I never like to, uh, you know, retire people who uh, are, are retired in real life because you never know. There are people in this, in this database when I started it in 2020 that are now back. CM Punk, probably the most notable person, of course, and a couple other people. Edge, I think was no Edge. I think was. I don't remember if Edge was put back in here or not. From that point, I mean, he was back. But I don't remember if he officially was in. Who knows? Nonetheless, Parker and the Rascals get the win. And uh, as they celebrate, we get the debut. We get Yuki Ueno and Shunma Katsumata from DDT. They uh, 
kick Drew Parker, toss him out of the ring, and continue a beatdown on Wentz and Xavier, who are still trying to get back into it from their uh, from their match. So laying them out, and uh, Ueno and Katsumor, uh, Katsumata uh, stand over them victorious and then uh, head to the back as they seem to have uh, made their point that they wanted to make and made the impact they wanted to make here in Vertigo uh, for their very... For their very first show. Came back. Yeah, he came back 2020 Rumble. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, he came back right before COVID. So I think he was back by this. I'd have to see if he's officially in the uh I'm sure he's officially in the uh in the uh database here as an active wrestler. Uh then we get Tankman and Lamar defending the Vertigo tag titles against the Neon Ninjas. Superb wrestling, decent reaction. It went just over 13 and a half minutes. Trey Lamar ends up submitting facade, and uh, the f- second official defense of the Vertigo Tag Team titles is made by Tankman and Lamar. Strong win against the Neon Ninjas. Ninjas, of course, multiple tag title matches, never quite there to uh, to get the uh, to get the um, the tag titles themselves. <laughs> so we'll see what happens coming up to uh, Russell Zenith, who we've got challenging for those. <laughs> Take Men of Lamar and the Ninjas shake hands, raise each other's hands for the crowd. Good show of sportsmanship between the two teams. Of course, Facade and Yuta disappointed about this, but uh, nonetheless, show the sportsmanship to uh, Take Men of Lamar, who got the better of them. Then we get the Heritage title on the line. Matt Cardona defending against Ty Ray. Goes just over 14 and a half minutes. Ended up uh, cheating here. Tyray uh, looked like maybe he was going to get it, but uh, Cardona ends up uh, with uh, maybe a bit of a low blow. Rolls up. Tyray gets his, ro- his legs up there for leverage. The ref doesn't see it. And uh, he pins Tyray and makes his first official defense of the Vertigo Heritage title. So looks like Tyray might have had a shot against Cardona, but. Uh, it was not to be as uh, Cardona ends up uh, doing a little bit of cheating to get there. And Cardona celebrates. Ray's a bit disappointed of himself that uh, he was able to uh, get taken advantage of. Uh, nonetheless, though, ooh, masterful job of improvising reactions. So that's good. <coughs> but there you go. Cardona with his successful title defense. We are up to the gold label classic final. It has been two months in the making here. 32 competitors have tried. We are down to the final two. Big match intros for the Gold Label Classic finalists. Absolute Ricky Starks and Speedball Mike Bailey. And we will determine our first ever Gold Label Classic winner right now. Just over 20 minutes. uh, Mike Bailey ends up hitting the shooting star knee drop on Ricky Starks. Gets the win. And Mike Bailey is your first ever gold label classic winner fantastic match between the two 73 that might be one of the best matches we've ever had in this company but a phenomenal match between starks and bailey starks came up just short mike bailey crowned the first ever gold label classic winner Uh uh-oh what have you what have you done oh I would hate to, I, I, that's obviously not me, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say that I am not built like that, <laughs> especially considering I just went to the doctors and, uh, got some physicals and blood work done since, you know, I'm getting older and I need to, and, uh, just finding out about real world things I need to deal with on my body and improvements I need to make <laughs> people watching don't know. <laughs> So uh, Speedball presented a trophy for his gold label classic win, gives a victory speech thanking the fans uh, for their support and is happy to be the inaugural winner of this and uh, thanks them and wants them to continue cheering him on on his quest to become world champ as he is officially with this win uh, stamped his uh, stamped his match for the Vertigo world title at Wrestle Zenith 2. And we will find out, of course, in our main event tonight, who will be the Vertigo World Champion going into Wrestle Zenith. You can claim it. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not well enough for this to fight. I'm too sick to fight right now. 
Uh, Pre-match promo backstage, Mayweather getting his boots laced up, getting his uh, the last of his wrist tape on as he's uh, ready to defend his title. Grabs his belt and starts heading for out of the locker room and uh, towards the uh, towards the entranceway as we get our main event. Anthony Mayweather defending the Vertigo World Championship against Effie. An exceptional matchup between the two goes uh, just under 17 and a half minutes. Anthony Mayweather ends up getting the red sky on Effie and uh, pins him. And that will be the seventh official defense of the Vertigo World title. And Anthony Mayweather is still your Vertigo World Champion. And that ticket has now been punched as Anthony Mayweather celebrates for the title. Mike Bailey is out on the stage kind of viewing from afar as uh, Mayweather holds up the belt, sort of taunts him from the ring as uh, it should be made official now at Wrestle Zenith with, uh, let's, let's, let's should just do a yes. As uh, now we've got it, the current world champion, Anthony Mayweather facing the gold label classic winner, Mike Bailey. Vertigo World title will be on the line at Russell Zenith 2. There you go. Well, our main event is set two months from now. There we go. Some some Ted Kaczynski. And that is the end of the show. 6638 regions. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see here. Mike Bailey and Ricky Starks, definitely. And you know what? We're gonna tell AR Fox he's awesome because he's pissy, so we're gonna. We're going to praise Bailey and Starks, and we're going to tell AR Fox he's awesome. Very happy, was happy, was pleased. There you go. Hopefully, they'll be less pissy, but who knows? I'm not banking on them being completely not pissy. <laughs> Good news is we're done. We're done with the month. We're just simming it out now. See what there is. AW looking for more people. Yuka Sakazaki, the the Princess of Princess Championships. Good for her because you know we uh, they're they're definitely definitely some new blood in the Princess of Princess Championship reign. I want to know what that what that title actually looks like right now. I want to I want to know how realistic is it. Uh, let's see here. So since we had it, Yuka Sakazaki, okay, that's realistic. Maki Ito, not realistic. Yamashita, realistic. Rika Tatsumi, uh, realistic except for uh, five months. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Thunder Rosa, not so much realistic. Uh, then Vacant, and then Yuka Sakazaki again. So yeah, pretty realistic. International Princess title. That's a little bit more realistic with Maki Ito winning again. And Tokyo Princess Cup, Miyu Yamashita just winning three years in a row. She finally won it on her 10th try in real life in 2023, but by this point, she's already won three in a row. Jesus Christ. 1841. We're going to get close. I think we're still going to lose money on this show on this month, but I think we're going to make money here. $254. Yeah, so we're going to make some money. We're going to make some money. That'll be good. <laughs> feeling the congestion and the coughing i've got some i've got some nyquil and just other stuff to take and just tuck myself into bed i had some soup try to make myself feel a little better i feel like the best thing i can do is just sleep uh rusev is dating evilies <laughs> Oh no, he left, he left fucking, oh no, he left, he left CJ Perry or Lana and he's now dating Ivelisse. Good Lord. What a, uh, what a, what a, what a, what a change up, I guess. I don't know what you could call it, but definitely a change up. Dustin Rhodes hasn't been booked in quite a while. Might be worth something. I'd have to look in my, uh, let's see, Colt Cabana makes a donation. 
I saw Himika Rita's injured. Okay, a few weeks to heal fully. That's fine. Uh, okay, not a whole lot else going on. Whoops. I saw a piece of... Oh, that was Himika Rita. Fractured arm. All right. Well, she's going to be fine. Game said she's going to be fine, so she's going to be fine. Is that the Berserk logo? It's something similar to the Berserk logo on his forehead. I could see that. If someone's going to be dressed like that, you'd assume they're probably some sort of anime fan. Rody King and Mark Haskins win the ROH tag titles. Honor United. Not much else. Good. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. We'll see what happens for a new month though. That's usually when this that's usually when the shit hits the fan at the beginning of a month. <coughs> Uh, I've been doing some of the uh, I haven't done a lot of stuff on the uh, the beta for Axis Football 24 but should be coming out in two weeks I think should be interesting Io Shirai the Raw Women's Champion alright there you go Takumi Baba uh, Young Dumb and Brogue JD Drake joins AEW I mean <clears throat> Exclusive written, okay. Out of the limelight, John Cena. I wonder if you're out of the ring long enough, if you're out of bookings long enough, if someone's willing to, uh, if someone's willing to uh, uh, join a smaller promotion. Uh, I got to deal with all those expiring things. I just got to do three month extensions and then we're good. I'm not going to worry about it right this second. Huh. Well, that's a thing. He is willing to negotiate with me. And in two months, I have my biggest my biggest show of the year coming up. I have some things to think about. <laughs> I have I have some things to think about. That's a lot of money, though. I did put all my money in uh, negotiating, though. There you go. 11790. That's what he's willing to take from me. <clears throat> uh, we made $1,800. Let's see. Worker cost. You take 7000 out there. Uh, 4000 out there. That's 11000 I mean, we could probably afford it. <clears throat> we would end up spending all the money from two months worth of profits. You love bankrupting your company. Listen, how many more times am I going to get the opportunity to book John Cena for my, uh, my promotion? Probably sell, sell tickets like gangbusters too. I don't know. There's probably lesser tier guys I could grab like a Samoa Joe. Yeah, I could grab a Samoa Joe for far less money. Is he even active? Yeah. <clears throat> I believe he was occasional. Yeah, occasional wrestler. I could bring in John Cena. Maybe I should just spend the money on Samoa Joe. That's a lot less money, and it's Samoa Joe. You know, I think that'd probably go well. He's st starting to be busted up, but, I mean, it's Samoa Joe. Easy to do business with, relaxed, fat jeans, loyal. He's retired. Oh, is he? Fuck. Uh, Champa. Champa's 1100. <clears throat> I could probably get him down to like 900 something. I'll have to think about it. Eli Drake. But this isn't 2023 LA Knight. This is 2020 Eli Drake. 1200. Probably get him down to 1000. I can get I can get Drake down to a thousand probably. And you bring in Kurt Hawkins. <laughs> uh Shelly, what does Shelly want? Shelly, I can get him probably down to about a thousand. 
ten thirty. That's not bad. Ten thirty for Alex Shelley. L. Lindemann. How about I bring in Flamita instead? <laughs> or Dan Severn. Well, he's retired. Shelly wouldn't be too bad. I'll have to think about it. I kind of want to bring in like some sort of special wrestler, some special outside wrestler. Wouldn't cost me a lot of money. I think I could figure that out. I'll figure that out at some point. Either way, made a little bit of money off of that. And uh, I think we lost a little bit of money here. Yeah, not a ton though. So not the worst. And we would have made money if we weren't updating our merchandise. So not the worst in the world. Not to mention, if we're still making money on uh, Vertigo, we could always, you know, throw some money their way. We got some, we got some cash. Save that just in case. Call it good. I know it's only an hour forty-one, but I needed to get that done out the door because, like I said, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I need to go to bed. I need to get some sleep. I am congested. I am sore. I am ready to just crash. So. Uh, I thank you guys for being here. Uh, we are set up for November. We've got our big, uh, we've got the uh, event for Idol Pro, and we're on our way to the road to Wrestle Zenith uh, for Vertigo. So there you go. So thank you guys for being out here. This is why you camp your money. That's a good point. Maybe I shouldn't spend all my money, but I bet you I can afford someone about a, a, at the thousand dollar mark. For a special, special thing. Bring in Josh Alexander again. Who knows? Either way, thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. And uh, you're watching on YouTube. I appreciate you continuing to watch. And thank you. And uh, I will see you guys next time.